So welcome back to the swimming workshop. In today's class, I want to show you guys how to cut out a corporate trouser. And this is the measurement I'll be using. I don't take a lot of measurement actually. We'll break it down. Probably if you don't enough. And remember, we're using a waist of 30 inch. We're using a waist of 36 inch. Can you see that? And my lap will be 26 inch. The length of the trouser is going to be 44 and the ankle, which is the M, is going to be 14. So, the very first thing I'll be doing is very simple. So, I want you to pay closer attention. You probably might have seen my previous video on my channel on how to cut trouser, but there will be a little bit difference in this. So watch closely. At this place, I will be taking out 1.5 inch from the beginning of the trouser here. And I'm going to divide my waist, which is 36. I'm going to divide my waist by 4, which will give me a total of 9 inch. That's 36 divided by 4. We give me 9 inch. In front of that 9 inches, I'm going to add 1 inches to that. Are you paying closer attention? I will add 1 inches to that 9 inches, which will give me a total of 10. Don't forget, I had 1 inches to that 9 inches, which give me a total of 10. Here also, which will be the crotch measurement from the waist to the crotch. I'm going to add, uh, to get the perfect crotch, all you just have to do is just to divide your waist divided by two also and add. Already we have 10 inches here. So now on our crotch, because the person is a very is a big person, so I'll just add one inches to that thing which will give me a total of 11. In order to get an accurate um, coach measurement, you have to add enough allowance so that the person will be able to at least raise up the leg and move anyhow they feel like. If you are using the same measurement as of the waist inches, you are going to have a little bit of tight on the, on the crotch part. So I will add one inches to this. However, even the one inches I'm adding to this part, I'm still going to cut it out as the waist slant. That is, I'm cutting out the one inches outside of here as the waist slant. Can you see that? So now I will also mark my I will also mark my 11 inches here. So I'll make a rule at this place. I want you guys to pay closer attention. This is this will be easier for you guys to figure out than taking a lot of mark on. I don't want it to be confusing. That's why I'm using this procedure for you guys. So also here, you remember I took out 1.5 inches from the side. I also take that 1.5 inches from here. Then I will mark my 1 inches at the side. Pay closer attention to that. I mark one inches at the back of the hip. This is where our hip is. This is where the pocket will end. I hope you understand. So also here, I'll mark the same thing, which is the thing. I'll mark it here also. So this is the... This is the total bots package. So at this point, I'm going to add two inches for the crotch cuff. The crotch cuff, I will add two inches here. Sometimes it depends on how your clients look like. If he's the kind of person that has a bigger lap and all those fat men like that, you can make it maximum of 2.5 inches. But because this is a guy and he's still corporate, so I add just two inches to this because I'll be adding more. To the back so i mostly add a little bit in the front so after i get this all i just have to do is just to make a curve here 
make sure it doesn't go too in just to make your curve you see that we are getting we are getting to somewhere now the next thing i'll be doing is i'll be taking the length measurement which is 40 44 inch for the bending allowance under the um for the bending the m allowance So here, I will just have to like take my measurements for the length of the trouser, which is 44. Then I will add the aiming allowance, the inseam allowance, which will make it 46, which will be 2 inches. Make it 46. Which will make it 46. So I'll just mark my 46. So I want to see what I mark. So here I want you to pay closer attention to this place. Here I will take 1.5 inches. Out of this side also and I'll take my M measurement which is 7 inch that's 14 the circumference of the ankle is 14 so I'm going to I'm going to do this So I want you guys to look at this very well. Can you see that? To get an accurate center point for your outfit, in order to give it a curve on the waist and on the hip side, this is what I mostly do. The total from here to down here is 14 inches. So all I'll do is, I'll divide my 14 inches by 2 which will give me a total of 7 So now I'm going to I'm going to mark my 7 from here which is the center of the trouser I'll also mark my 7 from here also Then I'll mark it from here And I'll mark it from here So now, if I decide to get the center point for this trouser, this will be how it goes. Can you see? I just get the center point. So now, to get this part, all I'm just doing is just to run from here to this. Remember, I took out half an inch from this side here. Remember, I took half of an inch from this side here. So I just make the line from this side to join with the half, uh, with the inch, one inch I added here. So all I will do is just to bring it back. Inside. Instead of making it curve, I mostly instead of making it straight, I mostly try and make it curve because our hip side is a little bit curvy, both for a man or a woman. So here, the thing I mostly do is just I make a straight line. I make a straight line, just like that. Then from our waist down to our knee, that's the measurement of the knee, it's mostly around 20 inches, the maximum of 22. So I'll take the measurement of that. 
22. So if I'm looking the market from here, I'll get my 22. That's where I'm going for my lap. But instead of living like this, I mostly make around here because that is never, never, never straight. I hope that is simple and understandable. Can you see what I did there? I just make a curve in between that straight gap. I make a curve around here. And the length of that is like around, the wideness of that is like around 1.5 inch that I added to the front. So that is it. All our allowances are actually going to be on the back. And I had a little bit of allowance here because of the zipper and the um, and the pocket side. That's why I had an allowance here. So now I will cut it out. So that's our front. So to cut, to cut out the back, I want you guys to pay closer attention to this also. It's very important because this is where we'll have more of our sewing allowance in order to give the trouser a good shape. Can you see this? Can you see that? So I make sure it's aligned with this side. So I'm going to cut this out. So this is, if you've watched my previous video, this is what I'll be using for the pocket cover. It's mostly and very important. So now I'll be moving this backward a little bit at 1.5 inch, which will be the same allowance from the, to this place. So here, I'll make a little bit of notch at the last part. So here, I want you guys to pay attention to this place because it is very, very important. This is what will determine 
how your trouser will come out. So here, depending on how your client is or how big your client is, sometimes you can make this place in between two inches. That's the least you can use. Two inches, 2.5. And the max you can use at this point is 3.5. If your client is over, over with, like over big. So use two point uh, three point five. But here, I'll be using the max of three inches. Points. Also, you got to one from the side. So I'm going to have the one inch to make the hip cover. I'm going to make it one. I can use one inch, but if the person is a little bit uh. Like the person have a big butt, <laughs> whatever. Sometimes if you see your clients, and sometimes if you don't see your clients, but it's okay to see the clients before you make their clothes. But if you don't, you can still go universal. So here I will return back each. So I just add one in but the maximum at that point is 1.5, even for female that used to like have a big 1.5. So here is 1.5, even for female that used to like have a big 1.5. So here I'll add, I'll add one inch to this place. And at this place, I want you guys to pay close attention to this place. I'll make a straight line. From where this stop, I'll just make this. I'll just make a line from here, from this my one inch here, down to this place. Can you see what I did? So after I make this line right here, I'll just make. Uh, I'll just follow the same line at the. Each side, I'll make a straight line here also. Can you see that? Then I'll make a curve at this place. You see that? It's as simple as that. So here, I'm just going to make it balance up with this one inch at the top. <coughs> then I'll cut it down. So I'm going to cut it out in the back here. So that is it on how to cut a corporate trouser. During the sewing aspect, I will show you guys what you are going to do to do the pocket side and to cut out the belt band <clears throat> and the lining also.